Yo guys, a Spider here, and we're on to the next step here on Origins. This one is Wield a Fist of Iron. Now we thought, uh, again, going back to Black Ops, Wield a Fist of Iron um, referred to, I believe, Mason getting the Death Machine and using the Death Machine. So we thought, okay, perhaps it has to do with the MG-08, which is the closest thing you can come to, I think, here on Origins uh, to a Death Machine. Uh, we thought perhaps it had to do with the... Uh, the tank, right? So we tried to run around with the tank um, when Axel and I were playing. But no, it ha when you come down here, and there is an audio indication given to you by Samantha uh, about uh, souls, I believe, in, in the dig site. Okay, So you come down here, and then all of a sudden you have the Templar zombies that spawn in down here. They have glowing white arms or hands. Okay, So you just come down here and you bro fist them. You bro fist them. If uh, you're on a later round and it takes two hits or three hits or more f with your bro fist, um, you'll see when you hit him the first time, uh, his white the white disappears, um, and then you kill him. All right. So you got to kill twenty of these zombies like this, um, and everybody has to do it. Okay, every player that's in the game has to do this. You can't just do one to wield a fist of iron. Everybody has to. Now the the cool thing is, and we'll probably we'll show it in another video. The cool thing is is that if you have a staff, you actually get an elemental effect as well. And you'll see what I mean uh, once, we, uh, once we kill a few more uh, of these Templar zombies here, and uh, we actually do obtain our, uh, our Iron Fist. So uh, here I am coming back down to the dig site. I had to go save somebody. Now, I am replacing the staff because there was a thought that you, you can't have a staff when you do this step. Um, because when we first did it with Axel and I, I had a staff and I didn't get it right away. But I think it was more related to the fact that both of us had to do it. Like, all the players had to do it. So, um, I think just having a staff means you get, you know, you get this iron fist. Um, you know, the fist of iron. But it just has that added elemental effect because you had that staff at the time. And trust me, the elemental effect is pretty awesome. So we got some uh, regular zombies coming down here. I'm just going to take care of them. And I think I only have uh, one or two... Uh, of these Templar zombies left that I have to, I have to fist. I'm fisting the zombies um, until I get the drop, and you'll see it. It's like the bro fist uh, uh, stone, and but it's glowing. It's glowing white, and then all you have to do is run over it, pick it up, and you have your look at that. Wield the fist of iron. Nice. So, like I said, what I recommend every player has to get it. Look at this. Raw. Yeah. Fist of Iron, baby. Uh, <laughs> we call it... Man, oh, I'm telling you, I, I, I gotta do it for all of the staffs just to see the elemental effects, and we'll do a video on it. But um, at any rate, all four players have to do it. Uh, what I suggest is all four players run at different locations and, um, you know, one player down here and just kill a few zombies at a time, particularly if you're on a higher round. If you're on round 19 or higher, I think it takes two shots or two hits to, uh, to kill the zombies with the bro fist. So, uh, like I said, the other three players just kill a few zombies at a time and allow the player that's down here uh, to only have a couple spawn in at a time so it's easier for him to get his Iron Fist. And once all four of you have it, that is the step. We'll be back for more. Spider out.